Good afternoon, dear developers. Today, we will tell you how to release your applications on Google Play. To do this, you need to go to the address developer.android.com, then choose Google Play. In order to be able to release applications on Google Play, you need a Google account, and you will also need to pay a $25 one-time fee. So select Launch Play Console. We are inside our console. In the center is the dashboard. On the left is the menu. After you have applications in Google Play, they will be located on the dashboard. Once you enter any application, the menu on the left will correspond to that particular application's settings. So we add our first application, click Create App. We write the name of the application. App or Game App. Choose Free. Mark the rest of the checkboxes. As you can see, we have created our application and we are inside its settings. If we click All Apps, we will go to the main dashboard with a list of all of our applications. We stay here inside the application to complete its settings and make the release. Here you can read recommendations on how to get started. We can hide this text and go to the settings. You can see several sections related to your application release. Each section has its tasks that you need to complete for a successful release. You can click View Tasks to view them. Here we can highlight the initial tasks without which you will not be able to release your application and additional tasks that you may not need to perform and move on to them when you publish at least one application and understand a little about how Google Play works. So the two initial sections you need to complete, set up your app and publish your app on Google Play. Let's start with set up your app view tasks. First task, app access. I choose the first option because there's no limited access, such as a sign-in form or the need to enter a password in my app. We return to the dashboard of our app. Select the Ads section. Yes, my app contains ads. We return. Content rating. Here, you are asked to answer a few questions about your app to determine its content rating. Click Start Questionnaire. We again need to select the category of our application to determine the content rating. Let's pick Entertainment. Go ahead and here we are offered to answer questions regarding the harmful content of the app violence, fear, offensive language, etc. I answer all questions no. We save our replies and then click next. Now, our app has received different content ratings depending on the countries. This will help users better understand your app content when they come across in the store. Click Submit. If in the future you make significant changes to the content of your application, you will need to start new questionnaire before its release and get the latest ratings and avoid additional checks from Google. Back to the dashboard. Choose Target Audience choosing age categories. Can your store listing unintentionally appeal to children? I think kids can, of course, find our wallpaper app on Google Play, so I choose yes. Let's move on to the next task. News apps. Our app is not news. Continuing, app category and contact details. Here we need to choose app or game. We choose app. Next, the category choose entertainment. We can add a few tags to help our app rank in Google Play search results. 
For example, our wallpaper app has art and design images, so let's select this tag. Also, check the tag Entertainment. We will also fill in the contact information for the store listing. Now, let's set up our store listing. App name, short description, long description, add icon and screenshots. To take such screenshots, Andromo's team made a unique Figma toolkit, which can help to do it quickly and efficiently. You will find a link to the Figma video tutorial as well as a link for downloading the toolkit itself in the description of this video. Here you can upload up to 8 pictures, we will upload one as an example. You can also add a link to a video about your app. This is a useful feature to improve the presentation of your app on Google Play. We talk in more detail about the usefulness of such a feature on our YouTube channel in the Andromo Academy playlist. Click Save and return to our tasks. We're done with the first initial part, which is called Set up your app. Next, we have a block of tasks. Release your app. As I said earlier, this section is optional, but it can be beneficial in the future when you want, for example, to test your app before its release. Let's move on to the second initial section. Publish your app on Google Play. First, let's select the countries and regions where our application will be shown. Now select Create a new release. The first part, Play App Signing. We read the information, click Continue. Load our file, either APK or App Bundle. Our app is loaded. Here are its details. Release name as we download this application for the first time we have version 1.0. We will also write a release note. Click save and then review release. We see two warning messages. We can ignore them as they are recommendatory and do not prevent us from publishing the application. So we click Start Rollout to Production. And now we need to wait a few days for Google Play to approve our application, publish it or reject it with comments. If your application is not published in the first time, there's no need to despair. Just follow the recommendations that Google will give you and your application will be published. That's all. Follow the new videos on our channel. Be sure to check out the Andromo Academy playlist. You will find a lot of useful information about the app release in the Play Store as well as its promotion there. Thanks and good luck!